Hello and welcome to another episode here on my channel. My name is Kevin Small and today I want to talk a little bit about my first thought to the closed beta of Alien here in the West. Alien? 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 Il Elon Musk? No? No? Similar. Look, I, I just don't know how to pronounce the name. I'm screwing it up all the time. I think it's Alien and... That's, that's okay for me till somebody corrects me. But yeah, this is my first look at the beta. You, by the way, see here running in the background. This is from my stream. If you're wondering why the video quality is not the greatest, it's because of recording of my stream it wasn't great. Whatever. But I really just want to talk about the game here itself. So Alien came out in South Korea, uh, I think two years ago, one year ago, something like that. And it's now finally coming to the West and they had their first closed beta. I'm playing an Ein here, that's a race, and it's a it's a cute little bunny. My community requested that. And I'm playing a Warlord, which is technically the tank, but can also dish out a lot of damage. I actually uh, enjoy that. That little bugger quite a bit. Um, I tried some other classes, but the Warlord has been definitely the class for me so far. Like I really enjoyed the tankiness and also some of the um, DPS I can dish out. Now, keep in mind, this is my first, or, well, actually my second day, but my very first time to ever play this game and look into the game a little bit deeper. Like I heard it was coming, I knew what it was, I have seen some trailers here and there, but... I never took a deep dive, right? Like, I, I never was the person who already knew everything about the game before it came out. So I did go into the game blind. And this game is uh, weird a little bit. Like, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it because it throws a lot, of, a lot at you. And... A lot of informations are like, yeah, okay, typical typical theme park MMO gameplay elements, like do your side quests, follow the main quest, level up your character, uh, do dungeons, you know, the, the usual. And, but then the game is also doing a lot of different things, which I enjoy. Uh, by the way, you can see me glide here in the background. And yes, I know it gets pixelated sometimes. Don't, don't look at the video too much. The video is really just for background noise. And uh, listen to me. Yeah, listen to me. But there's the gliding, which is kind of cool. Reminds me quite a bit of Iron, uh, which is hilarious when you know that the developers of this game was actually the developers of Terra. And they were first working at NCSoft and there was like a whole lawsuit against them because, well, Seasoft was basically saying that they ripped off um, the game they've been working on and had similarities to Iron and so on and so forth. Like, it's it's a very curious thing. And they, well, definitely brought some ideas over to Alien, which I'm okay with. But the gameplay itself feels very terror like the whole fighting is very action oriented and there's a lot of stuff going on at the screen and uh, i don't mind too much even though i'm a bigger fan of the old classic rpgs mmos you know the ones where you click on the enemy or tap the enemy and then you do one two three four but you don't really have to aim or anything um old school stuff I always like that a little bit more. But I can also live with this kind of fighting system. So, where to begin? What are my first thoughts about this game? So, first things first. The things I really have to highlight is how pretty the game is. Like, I really, really love the world design. And I think the developers did a fantastic job. The artists did a fantastic job. The, the animations are super smooth. And like the world design is just so different and pretty. Like I really, really enjoy it. Like the monster design is cool and different. And that's, that's a great thing. The next thing I really enjoy is the fast leveling. I was never a fan of leveling in MMOs. 
because I, I truly believe that the leveling phase in MMOs are nowadays at least just there to hide how much there isn't an end game in the game. Right? Like some some games draw out their leveling experience because they knew the moment people are reaching the max level there's basically nothing there. Um one of the games I still remember badly because of that was Wildstar. Wildstar was one of those games where you sometimes thought, holy moly, what is this leveling? Why does it take so long? And then, well, the first people reached max level and we all basically knew why, because there wasn't really anything to do. And I think a lot of people are suffering, a lot of games are suffering from that. And Alien is just like, nah, you, you, you have played the game now for six hours. Well, you are now level 35 out of 50. And I think the soft cap is like 40 or something like that. So the leveling is super fast in this game. Which is great, but also has some problems. So we have now reached level 35, right? Like just after six hours of playing. And the game hasn't really showed much. Like, yeah, they showed me one player dungeon. They showed me a little bit how the rune system and whatnot works. But that's about it. Like, I'm, I'm, I know that there are still a lot of things the game has to show to me. But it hasn't done that yet. So I'm patiently waiting for just the game opening up and tell me exactly what to do. Like, um... They now showed me how, well, realm versus realm doesn't really work, but they gave me, like, the first quest to work on that. Um, but most of the things you have to figure out yourself or you really have to wait till the game later on is explaining stuff to you. And it's, it's just a little bit weird. Like, it's not wrong. I don't blame them. Like, I don't mind games where you have to figure out your own ish. Like, I've played MMOs for decades, even a lot of sandbox MMOs, where they're totally not even taking you at the hand and not showing you anything. But it's just weird that the game is very much on point, making sure to showcase you everything since the beginning. And then still it feels sometimes like leaving out some of the important things that they are like world my bosses multiple bosses for multiple sizes of groups as you can see right here this is a this is a world boss for 20 players and that there's like real realm versus realm how it works how the pvp works and the game is not really doing that the game is literally just telling you okay here's the main quest which doesn't really do much yet like i didn't find the main quest super interesting and then there's side quests which are literally just there to fill up your XP bar so that you can follow the main quest again. I know this is nothing new, especially not in theme park MMOs. But even World of Warcraft Classic, like the old one which came out in 2004, managed to hide that much, much better. Like, literally in Elyon, you're following the main quest, you're coming to a hub, you're doing the main quest very quickly, then you are still one level too low to continue the main quest, so you have to do side quests first, and you go to one NPC, that NPC is giving you all the side quests, there's no story attached to it, there's no reason why you were doing this, and then you get the XP, and then you go to the main quest again. I don't know, people will now say, wait, that's basically what every theme park MMO is doing. What are you talking about? Yes, I know that. But the other theme park MMOs are really managing to hide that better from the player. Like in World of Warcraft, there is always like an underlining story. And there, even the side quests in that region are connecting to make you understand what is going on there. Like when you remember Westfall for the Alliance, 
where you slowly figuring out what the uh, the Fias Brotherhood is actually doing there and why they are doing it. And then you at the end there's the huge climax where you have to go into the death mines and uh, fight Van Cleef, right? Or even like Duskwood. Like you're slowly figuring out why Duskwood is the place it is now, why there are so many undeads there, why like it is a corrupted forest at the point. And even like the side quests are slowly adding to the whole picture. Or Final Fantasy XIV, another wonderful example, like the main quest is so good in Final Fantasy XIV that you're following that main quest and you want to know what the heck is actually going on in that game. So yeah, the side quests are not necessarily great, but you don't have to do them to, you can just follow the main quest and the main quest is really fascinating story-wise. In this game, they are not trying that, not even at all. They are literally like, here's the new hub, go to that one NPC that gives you all the side quests, just do them. You, we know you don't care anyways what this is about. And even the main story is like, we we all know you don't care. It's like, no, I actually, I do care. I I find the world looks super interesting, right? That we are here on an alien planet, so to speak, with another faction. And we are just trying to understand what the heck is going on. But it's not interesting at all. And it's really, really unfortunate. Like, they are not even trying to hide anything in that regard. What you see here is the runestone system, uh, which is a system which is getting used more and more by Korean MMOs nowadays, that you're basically unlocking all your abilities over time. Like, you're just getting them. And then, though, you have to decide which of the abilities you want to take with you, and those are the abilities you want to upgrade. So yes, you might have 30 abilities at the end, but in reality, you're using effectively only five, and the rest are like support abilities you just use because they work. Uh, like I can use chains to pull the enemy to me, right? I wouldn't put any abilities in there i wouldn't upgrade those chains like what the chains are doing for me is enough they're pulling the enemy towards me so that's a pretty cool system i've seen this in lost ark and i've seen this in some other mmos being used more and more and that's pretty cool the rune system is basically the more colors of a specific rune you have the more you can unlock like special passives over time, which is also like a common system one more Asian MMOs are using. Here, by the way, you see the <laughs> the quest guy. Like literally, you are just going through those side quests, you're clicking them all, and then you are just doing them till you have the next level to follow the main quest. Um, I, I haven't done the crafting yet. I have done a little bit of PvP, got murdered very quickly because I was too low, which is unfortunate. Um, but I have a problem with this game. I don't hate it. I will continue to play the next closed beta when it comes around because I enjoyed my time enough to continue this. But every element I have seen in the game so far feels a bit like this game doesn't know what it wants to be. It has a lot of gameplay mechanics. But that's the problem. It has so many that all those gameplay mechanics which are in the game feel shallow and you feel like they could have been more. Like the rune system as I already talked about it. Like uh, when I take Lost Ark as a wonderful example where you're doing the same, right? You're unlocking all the abilities and then you have to choose which abilities you want to upgrade and want to give like special effects. In Lost Ark, even if you have enough points to upgrade an ability, you still have to choose which upgrade you want. 
and that adds a little bit more depth to it. Does it mean at some point there will be only cookie cutter builds? Yeah, sure. Sure. But it still at least adds a depth to it that you have still to make like decisions, even if you upgrade certain abilities. And the game is not really doing that. Like if you have enough points, you can just upgrade your abilities and that's about it. At least for now. Um, again, like the game is, is a little bit weird with the pacing. Like I kid you not, I have now made 20 levels in just like two hours. And in, in those 20 levels, they didn't show you anything new. And now with the level I reached, like level 30, level 35, the game is throwing a lot of new mechanics at you. So 20 levels long, there was nothing. And then, bam, level 35, here are all the new mechanics, have fun. And that probably means they would do that later down the road again. So it's, it's still hard for me to say exactly what the game still has to offer, but it feels a little bit shallow right now. For the, for the speed I'm leveling, I would have expected them to give me more at that point. Um, but it runs well, it feels good, and I want to see more of it. I want to see more PvP. I'm, I'm rather curious about that. I want to see like some five-man dungeons. Like so far, I've been only in the uh, single-person dungeon. So that wasn't too exciting. But one thing I really, really enjoyed, like something I really have to point out here, which makes the game really fun, uh, so-called challenge doors you can find. Uh, you are going through a magical door and then you do certain events. Like you have like certain challenges, like, hey, there's a dragon in the room get the treasure chests around them, but don't wake the dragon or you're dead. Like you're dead dead. And that's kind of cool. Like you have to sneak around and open up the chests. Or there was another one where there was a room full of chests which just teleported around after some time, but there were also bubbles coming from the walls which could enclose you and capture you. And so you have to fight out of the bubbles, but you also have to manage to open up all the chests in time before the timer runs out. Like, I love those little challenge rooms they did. They're unique, they're something special, and they feel so much better than all those quests I've done before. Like, it's, it's just rather curious when you think about it. Like, they certainly had ideas to make a difference in this game, but... 90% of the game I have seen so far is just the usual, hi, nice that you were here. Now kill 10 enemies for me and don't come back before that. Uh, oh, okay, I can do that. You know, it's, it's a little bit unambitious right now. And I wonder if that changes later on. But... <sighs> I'm not fully convinced by it yet like i have to see more i definitely have to see more and most importantly like in every mmo i always say that i have to see the end game because that is what you will do for a long time in mmos right like the leveling process is one thing but the the main gameplay mechanic which takes like the longest time and you play the longest time in that mechanic is the end game. And the end game, end game can mean a lot of things. PvP, raids, dungeons, farming, or even some other things. But I have to see them and I haven't done that yet. So I will reserve my final judgment for this game till it comes out and then till I have seen enough of this game which I haven't yet and I didn't hate it so that's already something to work on but with that said folks thank you so much for watching I know this was just a glimpse look at the game and a little bit of my thoughts 
I know that some people who have already watched out for this game in Korea or even played it on Korean servers. Uh, this was probably not very helpful or interesting for you. Or you will point out now that, oh, those things are coming later on and it's really great. And I appreciate that. But I have to see them myself, right? So, yep, yeah, we would definitely follow this game. Uh, the closed beta is now closed. It's done. And we have to wait for the second closed beta, which is starting at some point. And if that happens, we would definitely play it again. So, again, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more Ilion closed beta, uh, we also plan to do more about Humankind, Icarus, Biomutant. <laughs> it's coming up very, very soon here in the channel. And we actually might check it out sooner rather than later. I will also make an announcement here in the, in the YouTube channel when that happens. But prepare your butts for a lot of Biomutant in the future. I'm looking forward to that. But till then, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time.